Hey guys, so I just want to show you guys a new mercenary trait, which is going to be Piltover for this set. So it's basically the more rounds you lose, the bigger of a cash out you'll get. And I'll just be showing you like a first look of like what the trait is like. So the portal of this game is going to be Chase Workshop, which is all augments that are offered this game are prismatic. And also, you guys don't know, they change like almost all the augments, so most of the augments are actually different. Also, this is like one of my first ever Piltover games because I only played Piltover one at a time and I didn't get a cash out because I was going for maximum loss for the tuber, but I just ended up dying. So it's like one of those things. Also, I think I rolled for it because you know, like back in set six, there was like two out of three mercenary, you just roll for it. So Piltover is a new one and it's something to T-Rex. So Chase is, is a Piltover. So it's Chase, Oriana, Vi, and Echo. So here I have Oriana and Jace, which is like two out of three. So here I got like an insane gold opener, one item and all gold, and I already have Piltover. So I just have 10 gold and three Piltovers in. So which is basically mercenary for the people I don't know. Also, you guys see here, most of the Obinx are different. I guess level up is the same, but uh, Tax Surgeon Crown no longer gives you a fawn. It gives you two spats, which you can decide to make into a fawn or two other items. Also, they give you a target spot, which I rerolled as a hedge fund, which is not windfall anymore, but it gives you 20 gold and unlimited in in interest. I was looking at hedge fund and I was probably going to take it. Because I was like, holy shit, I'm going, I, I mean, it was a new augment and I already got a 10 gold opener. So I'm gonna have 30 gold, we're gonna have 40 gold. And I was just like, no interest. I'm going first range, you already know. Uh, if you guys don't know how Piltover works, it basically summons your T-Rex. And I don't think he, so he has no ability if you never cash out. So in order to gain charges, it's like mercenary where you need to lose and the losses keep stacking. So Vi, her ability is she gains a shield and then she also like stun her targets. Chase gives a attack speed bonus to like his left and his right of him and also blasts him with damage. So it's like EQ combo. Vi is like his E ability in League of Legends and Oriana is like shield plus damage. Also, I think I did end up making Oriana too because there was somehow another Piltover player who was full open and I was really sad about that because that like full open because there's two of us griefing each other. But yeah, I'm actually like so excited to play this game when I wasn't playing this game because I had Hedge Fund, which is unlimited interest, and I already have 48 gold on 2 2. Is this balanced? Probably not. Just, just from like this spot. Because like at this rate, I'm already going 9 and 4 2 with like over 50 gold, probably. I guess it kind of sucks that I got level up already, so I can't roll into another prismatic. Although, and remember, the portal this game was all prismatics. So now I'm at two losses. Also, there's like interval breakpoints for the, like the the wrecks. So how do the cash out works is uh all right, so every time you lose, you gain one stack, and then when you cash out, like you cash out, you win. You need a win around. So like that's why it's like mercy. You need a win. It's not like uh what was the old one that we had last set? It was did I even play that? I don't remember what it was called. But it was like you, undergrounds, you didn't have to. You didn't have to like win. You could just keep losing and you cash out, right? This one you have to. You have to like full lose into like a win again. So it's kind of like mercenaries. And then like, when you do end up winning, your T-Rex becomes super powerful. You can play him for the rest of the game, or you can also sell him and you cash out like loot. So you have like options. So like, if you want to end the game pulled over or not. Also just look at our econ. 55 and it's gonna scale. So my thought process here is I don't really know how to cash out, but I guess like if you have to play Piltovers, right? Chase the Gunner. So I was thinking if Chase the Gunner, what four cost is also a Gunner. Zeri. I thought I was just like build some 80 items and play Zeri for the cash out. Kind of like how you played like Mercenaries into like Yone and Fiora to cash out with Challengers. Like a lot of people did like Yone cash out, I believe. So it's kind of like that, I guess. I don't really know what the best way is right now, but yeah. But just look at our econ. We have 70 gold. And I remind you guys, we have scaling interest. So we're getting an extra seven gold per turn. Plus like uh, the base plus the loss streak. So we're, we're, we're stacking infinite. And there's no cap. The only problem is uh, there's another guy in his lobby who's also open for it. So I can't really make any units or play a board because there's another pulled over player in the lobby. So I'm kind of sad about that. But yeah, so right now I'm on three loss. 
which uh, I don't think the cash is that good because it is like it's like scaling losses. So you want to like full lose, I believe. So how much we gold we get? We get five plus seven, which is twelve. Plus two, we get fourteen gold. Should be at eighty four here, I believe, right? Eighty four, yeah. Uh, wait, how much was that? Oh, wait, so, wait, so it's four, four is fourteen gold. So now we get eight plus five, which is thirteen. Thirteen plus two, we get fifteen gold a turn right now, which is basically augment in, in gold value. We're getting eighteen gold a turn, and if we lose this round, we get a. I mean, we get a bit more, but I don't know, like because it's neutrals, and we're just scaling with hedge fund. Honestly, is that how it works in real life? Like the richest gets richer because you have unlimited scaling. Because you know in TFT is kind of fake, right? The cap you have, the cap you have are like seven, or like the rich gets richer, cap you have seven gold. But isn't it really just like unlimited scaling in real life? And like TFT is kind of fake in that sense. And like hedge fund is like more realistic. I don't think TFT just have like always be hedge fund, but like just like normally, like no interest cap. So the riches always get richer, you know? So it's more realistic. Yeah. So here I just play some units because I am too scared of dying neutrals because I don't know what anything does. But my board doesn't look that bad. I probably don't need to play Aphelios. But yeah, T-Rex doesn't have an ability until uh, you eventually cash out. So he just like attacks like kind of slow or doesn't do much. And it's like no HP right now until you end up cashing out. So we're at five losses. So we're just scaling. Also, just look at our gold. I'm pretty sure... This augment is not balanced. There's actually no way. I can't just have 100 gold here, right? I have 108 gold. I have, I'm, I'm making 110. I'm making 11 plus 3 plus 5. What is that? 11 plus 3 plus 5. 16, 19 gold a turn. And next turn is going to be 20 gold a turn. Okay, am I greeting too hard? Yeah, probably. But the thing is, let's say I actually need a transition. Surely it's a win out, you know? Because as long as I transition like a normal person, with infinite gold, I should win. Yeah. Kind of sad I still haven't fought the other uh, Merc player because he's also like super low and like doesn't give a fuck. Alright, so Double Trouble is the only new augment here. Buried Treasure, you get five new components. Orange Force, you get DB and IE. Any Pandora's box gives you random, wait, get random raid item, and you can always get like, also get a Pandora's box for all units. Wellness Trust. I was thinking about taking this, but I was like, who cares about more money? I'm trying to win the game, you know, with more damage. What else would I reeled here? Cybernetic Bulk, you just get 500 HP, also has a new Cyber Augment now. I thought these both sound really boring. So I just take Pandora's box because I'm not trying to take defensive augment on PvE, you know? Also, damn, just look at our gold. Uh, I leveled here. I could have just made more interest, but we can't be that greedy. Honestly, not going seven here is probably already a little bit greedy because we'll have like what? We'll still have infinite gold. We'll still be in the 70s. That's well, fine. I think by at this rate, by 3-5, I'll have 150 gold. Which would be 15 plus 5 plus just 23 gold a turn. Also, I'm taking like way too bad losses. Also, there's another person in this lobby playing uh whatchamacallit? Uh Piltover as well. Also, it's this is not like underground. There's no it's not like three, four, five, six uh, intervals. It just goes from three to six. I think six is like really hard because you need a you need a spat. And you need Heimer Digger. So it's basically not happening. And like, even if you hit it, it's not that good because you still need to lose rounds and I'll be too low. So it's like, yeah. Also, I'm right now playing Deadeye, which is like one of the two AD traits. Deadeye gives your, uh, your units can hit like, uh, hits like the highest HP unit randomly once every three seconds. And does like bonus damage to them. Gunner, which is like Jace Zeri. That which I was trying to play does uh, you just gets like stacking AD the longer the fight goes. Or like like per auto attack. So I just take Jerry here I think because 
I just think he's like good for Honestly, I don't even know if it's a good unit or anything, but I just took him because he matches with Jace. And like, let's say I could build a normal board. That's all that makes sense. Oh, like that, that, that's it. Also, it is the most, you know, I don't think I've ever had this. Like, just no one is balanced, okay? Let's say I was a good player. There is no way that you can just have 150 gold on 3-4, right? Like 150 gold, a little high. I think I was debating on not leveling here for a second because I was making infinite gold, but that's probably too greedy. And I'm also on 35 HP, which is like, you know, probably too low. Yeah. 15 gold, 15 gold interest per turn. It's a uh, 12 plus five plus three, that's 20. That's a lot. 20 gold a turn or just scale. And then we cash out. The cash is also worth infinite. Wait, did I cash out here? Wait, I was only eight cash out. I thought I got a bigger cash out for some reason. I, I actually thought I didn't cash out until like stage four. That's okay. What do we get? Oh, I don't think I sold here. All right, so you guys see that? The Rex basically upgraded into a two star. So I got like, I think 25 power levels or something. His ability does more damage, he has more HP, and he just levels up. And then like, so the current loot value of sold is 51. So basically, how it works is you can you have the option to either play him as a unit on your board or you can sell him and reset him and just cash out all your loot that you have. So you have like options on what to do with him. And I think the the, the maxed out uh, T-Rex is actually really strong. Looks like he also cashed out recently, which is not good for us because we just cashed out. So now I think we need to go for a second cash out. There's no, like that's like we cash out once. And you, then you get one once by accident. So now I have to go for a second cash out. That's what this game's looking like. That's why I thought I cash out a little bit later. I thought I did. All good. We have 130 gold. This guy's 30 gold. We have 100 gold up on this guy. So Belvif is like uh, one of the AD carries of the set. Belvif uh, on kill gains 50% maximum HP. And then per kill after that. She gains percentage of match HP of that unit. Uh, and Kasante is a tank. It works basically just like Lee said. He's the, Kasante is like the most left most unit on my bench. Alright. Surely I level here, right? Okay, God bless. And, okay, so I have like 111 gold. I can go 9 next turn and still have like... Oh, also I have more gold than you guys think because... I haven't sold my T-Rex yet, so I'm actually at like infinite gold. I probably should just sell my T-Rex already because there is no way playing this Chase Oriana. But I am green the, the one extra cash out I got, which is I think one loss, which is probably not a good cash out because it's a one loss, you know? Yeah. Uh, but, now, but, now, but now we're committed because now it's a two loss. Now it's a two loss. We have 11 HP. Everything's fine, everything's fine. We're chilling. Have you ever seen someone go eight before with 111 gold on 4-1 at level eight? I don't think so. I know we're taking egg here. Honestly, life steal is actually really good because uh, we don't have any life steal and we play Belt of Carry. Uh, she kind of just goes in there, but she does have so level 950 gold here. We're just gonna roll out for basically every single five cost and just see what they do. Also, I think I saw my T-Rex here because it is a lot of gold. Oh, I have a cash. Okay, I'm, I'm going for my two cash out, right? I guess. What did I do? I don't remember. I did tell it. Oh. So I just get gold, 20 gold in a fawn. That's not bad. That's not bad. I've seen worse. Oh, uh, also, you guys don't know what Rise ability is. Uh, Rise basically lets you, uh, well, he has a different ability every single game depending on the portal. So he Rise is like 10 different abilities. So it's kind of hard to explain what Rise does. So basically, he's an invoker. Long story short, it is a different ability every round. You just have to check what it is. So I do think people will be going like crazy or pilled over because eight, eight, I got, it was only an eight cash out and I got a Fawn 20 gold, which is honestly pretty good for eight, only eight loss. I kind of wish I got a bigger cash out, but I did try to go for some with a four. I tried to go for like, I don't even know what the cap is, but I tried to go for like 11 cash out, 
I think I just died that game without cashing out. It was one of those games. Yeah. I just pivoted a Bell of Carry because. I don't know. I'm just hard stuck as everyone. At least Belvif is a five cost 80 carry, so can't go wrong with five cost 80 carry, you know? I don't really know what the like the cap to end game board is supposed to look like. So I just buy random five cost and just throw them all in there because I'm just like, what can go wrong? Is this the board to play? Probably not. There, there's probably like some version of best five cost board. Like Aatrox is actually a really good unit. Aatrox ability is like AOE and uh, he's actually really good. But my board doesn't look awful, but it's probably best to have like more than one carry almost always. And right now I'm just like literally just belt with one carry with another belt with one and that's naked and a rise. Honestly, I'm pretty sure, let's say I play the game more. I'm pretty sure me buying this Heimer Digger is actually a grief. Because in order to even play Heim, you need so much gold, is a problem. Because uh, Heimer, he needs to upgrade his turret three times, which is 18 gold. And you need to pay 15 gold for Heim 2, or else it's probably won't even worthless you have Heim 2. So this, me buying this Heim, if I want Heim 2 with upgraded turret, it's going to cost me 15 plus 18 gold, which is 33 gold. And I don't know if I have that, so I probably shouldn't pick this Heimer, which... I guess I would have known if I played a set more than once, you know, because it's just like way too much of an investment right now, especially with my board. I'm playing two Aatrox ones and have my board time upgraded yet. There's no way I have like, and it's a no item Heimer. There's no way I should be playing this. Also, it grease your shop as well because you have to pay, you, like he takes up a shop, but at least you get one every round. You can like manually force the Heimer on if you have enough gold, but you, you just need gold, which I, I don't have at this time. I could come back for it later, but there's actually just no way. I I, I buy like Heimer and his upgrades. He keeps griefing my shops and he's griefing my gold. So there's just no way. My board, I have two legendary five costs. So my board's actually pretty good. Cassante, you guys don't remember? He's just like, listen, you see him kick there, the, the set there. And he just kicks the fucking set off the map just in like two seconds. His main carry, three star, just gets heated off the map like instantly. Your max level is seven, gain 100 gold. Honestly, that guy sounds like a grief. I just wanted to try. I, I, I don't know. There's probably a best like way to build Heimer. But I don't know what the augments are. So I just like buying random augments and grief of my gold. Like, look, just look how much gold I invested in this Heimer already. That's 12, 17 gold. And all this Heimer even does anything. And I built, I have self repair, so I was like, oh, maybe I should frontline him because. But that's probably wrong. Even with self repair, I probably should even bought self repair because I have so much frontline and no backline. So me buying that is probably just wrong to begin with. Do I need Shred? I just didn't buy Shred because I already have Last Whisper. I just bought double self repair, so your repair is even faster. Also, I have no idea how to position. I'm just praying. I don't know what half my units even does. All I know is the drawing doesn't stun anymore. Aatrox is like an AD carry. Scion charges a large clump and uh, attacks them. Senna fires a massive AoE. She's got like big shield right there. Shields your entire team, dodges the enemy team a little bit, and then gives your entire team attack speed as well on top of that. Also, I just want you guys to look at this Heimer, or this Heimer nigger that is like doing probably nothing. Especially, I'm pretty sure I picked like the wrong uh, like upgrade combination as well. But currently, this Heimer with a tier has cost me 33 gold. And I don't think he's doing anything, if I was being honest. It's a no item Heimer nigger that cost me 33 gold, which I can't really afford because I do have an open slots. And I'm pretty sure like Aatrox 2 is like higher value, especially how much it cost. This guy is a fearless one carry, which is a four cost unit. And I'm playing like four legendary two stars, so. Yeah. Yeah. I killed nothing, by the way. Nothing. This guy's board gold value is close to zero. And I got 50 owed. Okay. So I just want to show you guys like what the new mercenary trait was. Did I play the game wrong? Yeah, probably. Okay, okay. But 
in my defense, I don't know. Okay, well, let's say okay, let's say I do a cash out and I never play a game on a new task, right? Let's get this game first. But this guy's bored. And this is a two cost. This is a four. No, this is a five cost, three cost, four cost, two cost, four cost, five cost, four cost, right? His board's not even that good. I got seven over here, man. My, my entire team just like died to like a one star affiliate. I mean, yeah, they go at CC combo to fucking like infinite to death, right? But still, this guy's board gold value is so low and I got 50 out. Okay, but at least this game was pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This is the first look I pulled over, which was like the new like mercenary trait. And it did have like also 60 gold on 4 2 with a merc cash out and I lost. I went sixth. Sponge. What even happened to this fight anyway? Let me see this fight real quick. Because I don't know like what units have CC or like where position at all. Because I don't know half the units even do. I was rewatching the fight real quick. All right. Also, Jarvis is like a full tank. All right. So. Well, I guess my belt just died. I feel like my entire board just died. Sure. This entire left side is like just evaporated. I mean, I've seen worse fights. All right, but thanks for watching, guys. Though I just want to show you guys like some of the new like prismatic augments and uh, some like what the new mark trade is. And uh, I'll be streaming a lot more. I'll be uploading on YouTube hopefully every day, every day on YouTube, every day, and on Twitch, and on TikTok, and on everything. I'm sorry for disappearing for so long, but I'll be going really hard. The games would not be looking this. I would not be going sixth. I'll be cashing out my mark trait, and I'll be going first because I'll know what the units to buy. I will not waste 50 billion gold on this high material, which cost me 33 gold. I'll position probably better, and I'll probably know what you need to buy. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. People bye.